So this funding competition focuses on two of our three themes that form um, our strategy for engagement in the regenerative medicine research space. Challenge one looks to apply the principles of tissue engineering to the blood components that are so essential for frontline trauma care. This could be about improving their storage profiles or adding additional functionality, for example. Challenge two focuses on severe soft tissue injury. We're looking for approaches that can be used very early after injury in the challenging environments associated with delivering medical care at the front line. These approaches should look to kickstart regenerative processes, thus maximising the effectiveness of later regenerative and reconstructive procedures. This competition is important because at the end of the last conflict we became very, very good at looking after our injured servicemen and women. Um, and to continue to improve that and save more lives and improve the outcomes from following uh, combat trauma, um, we continue to do iterative research uh, in the area of combat casualty care. But we also need to do two things. We need to do something which is uh, disruptive, highly innovative, and that actually uh, um, grasps the talent that sits within the UK and, and internationally um, to uh, provide a step change in combat casualty care for our injured servicemen and women. The competition is important. I think the innovations developed through the Accelerator will have an impact not only to the armed forces but also to civilians. Um, and to people involved in humanitarian crises. Developing regenerative approaches for use at the front line will be challenging, but we hope we've inspired you to put in proposals that push at the bounds of what is possible for what are the most devastating of injuries. For more information on these challenges and on how to apply, please visit our website. The closing date for proposals is the 11th of April.